these categories of people should not be seen around you yes i meant that there are two categories of people people who fill our lives with joy and purpose and people who constantly empty our souls and drain our energy hold on a minute let me introduce myself channel my name is Eunice thank you so much for tuning in please if you are new here subscribe be a part of this family and let's move today's video is quite interesting and very educative if you ask me let's move right into it the first category of people who shouldn't be around you people who constantly make you feel bad about yourself you cannot be that bad you are not the devil people who talk down on you make you feel like your ideas are dumb they make you feel like nothing good can eventually come out of you. You know yourself, you know those people who are around you. It is time to let them go. Well, I'm not here to encourage you cutting off people, you know, or being a loner or not keeping friends. But I'm here to also make you understand that in as much as it's good to socialize, keep friends and, you know, just keep people around you. It is also very expedient for you to weigh the kind of people that you put around you. Because negative energy is contagious. Negativity is contagious, to be honest. It has been psychologically proven that the people that you keep around you give yourself like, let's say, two to five years. You're going to see yourself doing the same things that they do. You're going to, you're going to be picking traits, characters, and energies that you wouldn't have thought that, you know, you could emanate. So why won't you be intentional about the kind of people that you keep around yourself? So people who make you feel bad about yourself, nothing you do seems to be just so good. The second category of people who shouldn't be around you, people, friends who are constantly in competition with you. I mean, they don't allow you to have your time. They don't allow you to, you know, enjoy your moments. They seem to have a testimony to outshine your testimony. They seem to always remember, oh, they have a story that is similar to your success story. I don't know if you get it, like, they always want to do stuff to top up things you've done. They always want to achieve something that is more than what you've achieved. As much as healthy competition is good and advisable, I mean, people who spur you to do stuff, people who encourage you, people who motivate and inspire you to do stuff. You see those ones who constantly make you feel like, you know what, you're not good enough, I think I can do it better than you. Now, those are the kind of persons I'm talking about. Run! They shouldn't be around you for your own sanity and for your own good. The third category of friends, people who shouldn't be around you, people who are always constantly complaining. Now, there is nothing bad in a friend trying to vent, right? But you see those ones who seem to always have one complaint to another. Anytime you guys seem to be hanging out, anytime they pick their, call, their phone to call you, the moment you see the, on the call that it is them, you just know they are going to be complaining. They're complaining about their spouse, their parents, their friends, the food they eat, the air they breathe, even complain about God. <laughs> Watch it. Very soon, you're going to be complaining about everything. Gratitude is such a virtue that I feel like every single human being should possess. You're not going to have everything all together, but people who see nothing good about life, they see nothing to be excited about, they see nothing to be thankful for, always complaining, 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 complaining. You should be careful about those categories of people or those persons around you and stay off from that negative energy. The fourth category of people the first category of people you should be careful or stay off or clear off from whatever <laughs> you get the gist <laughs> people who never want to grow up i mean you're already maybe people you've known from childhood and then you guys are in your 20s early 20s late 20s 30s and then they are still doing stuff they were doing like they don't want to grow up they don't want to take responsibilities still train tantrums still acting you know all childish still you know acting all childish and refusing to actually grow up you are going to become childish again you're going to pick up those traits as much as you would not want to you might end up doing the same thing that you are doing if you don't give them the distance that is necessary 
And also the fifth and the last category of people you should stay off from, people who disrespect your core values. It is fine for friends to believe in different stuffs and you know have different beliefs and notions about stuffs, right? But it is disrespectful when you try to talk down on my own belief. Oh, because you're a Muslim, I'm not a Muslim. I'm not, you know, you talk down on my religion. Because you're a Christian, I'm not a Christian. You talk down on my religion, no. Or because you're single and I am married. You try to make me feel bad for being married, or I try to make you feel bad for being single. You know, people who talk down about things that you can do nothing about, things that are important to you, values, notions, and beliefs that are important to you, they disrespect those calls. I mean, very soon you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna keep fighting, you're gonna be complaining, you're gonna be having misunderstandings, and you you don't wanna be around that kind of, you know, environment where there's always tension. You don't want to be around that environment where there's always tension. I mean, you want to be around a happy so You want to be around friends that you can smile with, friends you can be happy with. I hope this short video has kind of made a difference in your life. Please let me share with your friends and your loved ones. And keep healthy friends. Cheers to us. Bye.